Well, hello and welcome to what amounts to football heaven. It doesn't get a whole lot better than this. The conditions are utopian. The sky is blue and the players are with us for a football match so widely and keenly anticipated. Truly, this is pristine and the uh, level of expectation and excitement is reflected in the smiling faces of the crowd. They know it means so much and they also experience between them a great sense of privilege at uh, being able to attend this most special of games. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old-school feel about it. And so, the national anthem. Who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yeah, David Alaba, one of the most versatile players out there. He's just got so much positional awareness and intelligence. He can basically do a job anywhere on this pitch. He's got fabulous technique too, especially with his delivery in and around the area. He'll be eyeing up any set plays the opposition concede in that defensive third. Yes, they'll certainly be leaning heavily on him. the whistle Alaba now can he capitalize and on it it's broken loose firmly met Alaba Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Pandev. Oh, they could break here. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's been taken straight back. And here's Arnautovic. Has a hit! Oh, just fizzes past the post. Oh, how close was that to going in? It only required the smallest of tweaks. Alaba. Hoists it forward. Out towards the flank. Massive leap! And it's played forward. Alioski. Get the better of his opposite number. Dinks one in. Down guard, Linger. Still goalless. it out to the wing gorgeous control there and it's Baumgart linger Baumgart linger and now the breakaway was good pressing, forced the error to put an end to it before things could get even more threatening. 
He's making good use of his strength there, just refuses to be out-muscled. That is terrific skill. Baumgart linger. It's Pandev. Dragovic goes looking. Into Rega. Forward it goes. Alaba. for the cross <laughs> Alaba goes short <laughs> Pandev Goal now would certainly liven things up. Hoist it forward. Alioski. He's got through. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Anatovic. Can he get through? Just brushed off the ball there. Looks to bypass the midfield. Come back to the keeper. Tries to get it forward quickly. Baumgart linger. Dragovic. Alaba. the half-time whistle so both sides have drawn blanks they have toiled at times but it's not been a bad game by any means what do you think we're up to after 45 minutes well i think despite the scoreline it's been watchable and enjoyable we certainly had a, a vibrant start and if we were going to see a goal it, it should have come then but the odds are favorable for for this second half Austria head to the dressing room not yet having broken through tight cagey game are the team any further forward than they were when they started out? Underway again. Austria can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. It's a brilliant interception. Good clearance and very necessary. Just to locate someone up front. And it's played forward. Now it's on Nautovic. Alaba. Dragovic. And he's there to cut it out. Receives it in a good position. Has a pop! It's in! He 
some players are just capable of grabbing a game by the scruff of the neck. And his immense talent, they just have done exactly that and injected the belief that they can retain their lead this time round. It is a good finish. The odds were against him, little matter. Arnautovic really showed good strength there. Held his man off, didn't let himself get bullied and got his effort away. Maintain control. So we have our breakthrough. Well, whatever the manager said in that dressing room at half-time, it's worth the treat. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. Dragovic. Well, Nautovic is on the end of some really unwanted attention. Yeah, and having notched a goal already, Peter, he's not going to be allowed to run off the shoulders as much as he'll want. A really good feat from him. And it's Alaba. Just about up to the hour now. Your impression so far, Jim? I think the manager's pondering his options as to whether to stick or twist Peter in view of, of the time remaining. He might have a, a tough call to make now. Baumgart linger. They get a throw in. to get it forward quickly. The only goal came in the early moments of the second period and the score is 1-0. Get that clear. Dragovic tries to clear. He's gone out for a throw in. Elmas. Forward it goes. Well, it's good stuff. This is better. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. Closing in on the last quarter of an hour. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Hit into the middle. Great leap! This is gone, that's a foul. Just a talking to, I think. Yes, it is. That was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the area of the department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Final checks on the touchline. A change about to occur.
Austria get themselves a two-goal cushion. Well, with this kind of authority, Peter, why not push on and, and totally kill this off? Down Bartlinger. Hinterega. Down Bartlinger. Gets it back. And that has put pay to that. Ahead by two and just about into the home straight. More than happy to take the muscular approach. Has he found his man? Hinterega. Coming on the right now. What's on? Referee's given a throw. So now we're going to get those changes we have been expecting. Well, to wait until now to make this change seems a bit baffling. He's expecting the miraculous to turn this around from here. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Elmas He's lifting it over Fence has got rid of that played into the middle Time added on will be two minutes And it's Alaba Pandev gets into a dangerous position. Alaba. Tries a shot! And that may well be that. That is that. So they have their win. They had all the answers to whatever the opposition threw at them. And the result followed inevitably. And after all of that, Jim, what are you thinking? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That eases the pressure on the strikers, who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. Just remains for me to thank Jim Beglin for joining us and to wish you a very good day.